Can I try one? Mm -hmm. Just one. Yes. Just one, you guys. I have to say that I did something. <laughs> I reached out to Torquelift Central to get a stainless steel Tesla Model 3 hitch by Eco Hitch. This hitch fits models from 2017 through 2023. The hitch features their stainless steel trailer hitch receiver. They say it's the only stainless steel trailer hitch receiver in the world. And this has the added benefit that the receiver can be removed when not in use to restore your vehicle to its factory look and you won't have a large bulky metal hitch hanging down under your Model 3, although I'm keeping it there because I think it looks cool. <laughs> we have my Model 3 here in the background. I'm installing an eco hitch. Well, I'm not installing it because I'm smart. Um, and this is for a bike rack. So let's check out what it looks like here. And have you guys done one of these before? Yeah. You have? Lots of them. Lots of them, really? Yes. Are they common? Yes, for Tesla's, yes. Okay. Are they harder on a Tesla? No? I looked at the installation video and I was like, there's no way in hell I'm going to attempt this. There are so many, um, yeah, so many steps that I feel like I would fail at. So right now he's removing T25s that hold the bumper. <laughs> Am I saying this correctly? The bumper to the body. The bumper to the body, you guys. This is why I'm not doing it. Again, I'm here at Texas Hitch. Listen guys, I booked the appointment like two days ago. <laughs> have 10 10s on the bottom. 10 what? 10 10s. 10 10 on the bottom. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay. Just smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. So that's what holds the facial together. Okay. Uh, there'll be no cutting on this Tesla because it's pre-cut already. Okay, good. I think. <laughs> I don't know anything about this. This Model 3 tow hitch is rated at 300 pounds tongue weight at the trailer ball and 2,000 pounds for towing. Now this will cost you about $500 and there's free shipping on orders for the lower 48 states. To get the light off, you have three eighths. Okay. That, that you remove those from the backside and that will take the light off. How many of these have you done? I don't know. A few dozen at least. Yeah, a few dozen. Is it more expensive to do it on a Tesla? About the same. It's about the same. Is it harder for any reason? No. No? Really? Okay. Cool. Got to be handy with tools. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Good. So, good. D what did I make a wise decision in coming here, knowing that I know nothing about cars? Okay. Would I? Yeah. Do you think I would have messed up my car? I wouldn't say mess it up, but you. Uh, it'd be a challenge. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Curious if you guys have a Tesla, do you have a tow hitch installed? So what all needs to come off? The bottom shield, the bumper, and then the support beam. Okay. Oh, wow. Yep. <laughs> I'm glad I didn't do this. <laughs> yeah, so people are asking your bumper has to come off. Yes, the bumper has to come off, and why? Because we have to put the hitch on the back side of it. So the, the hitch has to go on the back side. So yes, this is normal. The bumper has to come off which is why I'm here. Okay, so now they're gonna remove six 15s on each side of the bumper. That's gonna take off the beam. So once again, I don't have the tools to do this or the smarts. What do you need in order to do this? Like, let's say one of my viewers orders this kit. Mm -hmm. What do they need to have in order to install this themselves at home? So you would want to get the vehicle upper because you do have to crawl underneath the vehicle to remove the 10 tens that you have on the bottom. Right. You can use jacks with rubber blocks to be able to lift it up. And um, that's the way you could uh, lift up your vehicle in the rear. Um, there's several ways you could put it on a lift if you have a lift. Right, um, if you don't. If you don't, if you're just doing it at home, I suggest make sure you put it in the location where you jack up your vehicle, where Tesla tells you to. Um, there would be a, on the bottom, there's going to be a hole and that's where, that's where you would mount the, that's where you would put your jack. So. Now, what if you don't have anything to lift it? Do you, do you absolutely have to lift it? It would be, it would be a lot easier. A lot easier. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so we put the rubbers on the, we put the rubbers on the front and it, uh, I mean, we put the rubbers on the rear, then we're just gonna put the screws back in for this one, the factory screws. What percentage done are we now? We are probably about, most of the way, most of the way probably about 50% done. Wow, okay. So after you put the, the hitch on, 
Then you're going to go ahead and put more rubber rings okay. on there. And then you're going to put the, the bumper beam back on. Okay. And that's going to keep it from corrosion. Okay, no corrosion. That's good. Yes. You would not be using these anymore. So you send them with the customer. And if you want to take the hitch back off, they're able to put their bumper oh, back on okay. with their bumper beam. Okay, good. So just a simple crescent wrench. Pick it up from like Harbor Freight for a couple bucks. Can I try one? Mm -hmm. Just one. Yeah. Just one, you guys. I have to say that I did something. <laughs> oh, yeah. Okay, maybe two. <laughs> How tight do you want it? So you want it to be tight where it locks that lock washer. Yeah, that, that, that washer will get flat. Is it you see, how it's, it's, see how it's flat already? Oh. So just once it's flat already like that, just go ahead and just give it a little bit more. One more snug and that's it. That's it? That's it. Okay. You don't want to over tighten it because when you go to take it off, mm -hmm. it's going to be hard. Okay. <laughs> so. But this is. It's solid. Okay, great. She did it. Well, <laughs> I did not do it. Okay, <laughs> listen here. But I'm glad that I came here to get this done. Let's put it that way. Okay, so we're not done yet. No, we're not done yet. Now we are going to start installing the bumper back. So we are in the, wow. I just turned around and all of a sudden <laughs> my car looks normal again, except for this very uh, a wonderful addition here. Wow. Wow, great. Yeah, we're not completely done yet. These, these guys have to go back on. I got the kit shipped to my UPS box, 50 pounds. <laughs> and um, I, I chose them to install it. They live, or I live pretty close to them. And so, but I ordered the kit from Torcliff Central. Okay, so how do you put this back on? All right, so it's pretty simple. So it's just, you see these little studs on the back? Yeah. So they're gonna meet up with these right here and these other little threaded studs you got are gonna go into this it, it pretty much just pop right in there okay you wanna yeah. here oh just kind of make sure that it'll fall right in and it just real gentle you hear that little pop it means you got it okay and then it's just two nuts on the inside and just plug it back in and that one's ready to go well that didn't take very long <laughs> I don't know. Is this easy? Mm -hmm. Very easy. He says it's easy. <laughs> that truck right there oh, yeah, is a 13 inch lift. That's been fun. So this is harder? Oh, yes, yeah. this is very hard. Uh, it's just a, lifting it? It's a, very, it's a 12 inch lift. Um, very complicated, very big puzzle piece, but we could get it done. Yeah. yeah. So now what are we doing? We are putting your LED strip back on. Oh, okay. But besides that, I mean, we're pretty much so wrapped you, up. You had to take the LED strip off? Correct. Gotcha. Not unwire it. Just take it off and move it to the side. What's left? A couple pop pins and um, a bike rack. And a bike rack, yeah. <laughs> um, this is the finished product. And I think it looks pretty cool. So this is the... Torque lift, stainless steel. Um, again, much more towing capacity than what I'm going to be using it for, but that's going to work for what I want to use it for, so it doesn't matter. Okay. This is okay. going to go with you in case you want to. This is the cover that goes on the bottom. Okay. If you want to take your hitch mount out, you can take your hitch mount out, put this up, and it, it's like you never had it. Okay. These will also be going with you too. If you also want to re take your hitch off and take it to another vehicle, you're going to need this to put your bumper beam back on so you could uh, make sure it's secure. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. A big thank you to Torque Lift Central for the hitch as well as Texas Hitch for the installation demonstration. And hey, if you want to get a hitch for your Model 3, you can use this code ELLIE50 in all caps. This will give you $50 off the Tesla Eco Hitch. And this runs only from November 10th through November 24th. So I will put these details in the description of this video. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you are thinking about putting a hitch on your Model 3 or if you already have one as I find it interesting to see how many other people are modifying their Teslas in this way.